and they pressed into service Simon, a Cyrenian, the father of Alexander and Rufus, and made him carry the cross of Jesus. What an unlucky day for Simon the Cyrenian. He did not know Jesus. He was neither a believer nor was he an antagonist of Jesus. He was on his way to work in Jerusalem. He's along the way. Jesus falls. The cross is too much. They're worried he'll die before they get to kill him. And so they put the burden of the cross on Simon the Cyrenian who carries the cross of Jesus. You know, we're, we are by and large very good about reaching out to those people that we know, those people that we love, our family and friends, those people with whom we work, those people with whom we share a bond. We are eager to carry their burdens. But strangers, people we do not know, people on the dark side of the moon from us, they annoy us, they interfere with us. What have we to do with them? Those must have been Simon's thoughts when he is asked to carry the cross of Jesus. We're not always so desperate that way. With the earthquake in Haiti, thousands of people from throughout the world, millions in fact, have come to the aid of people they do not know and will never meet and have sent relief to Haiti. There are thousands still in this country and others, people we do not know, people we do not hear of, people we will never see again. And from time to time, we have the opportunity, maybe pressed on us, to carry their burden. Simon was unknown at the time he was pressed into service with Jesus. But later, because we know his sons, we we know that he became a devout Christian, that the process of helping someone unknown to him changed his life. Not with the burden he had to carry for a short time, but with an opportunity to participate in love, love for a radical stranger. And so too, we are often have the opportunity to share our love with strangers as they make their way of the cross.